The history of basketball in China dates nearly all the way back to the invention of the sport in 1891 by Dr. James Naismith. At the time, Naismith was working with the International YMCA Training School, which produced missionaries that were sent to China to help spread Christianity. Along with the religious focus, the missionaries also brought the philosophies of basketball to China long before most European countries had even heard of the sport. Dr. Wilyard Lyon, one of the missionaries, started the first basketball camp in China at the Tianjin YMCA, where he also presided over the first official game on December 5, 1895. One of China's earliest great teams, the Nankai Five Tigers, also trained at the Tianjin YMCA. By 1910, the YMCA organized China's first national athletic competition, which included basketball. And in 1913, the first Far Eastern Championship Games was held in Manila, Philippines. It took China eight years to conquer its first gold medal in basketball by upsetting the Philippines in the Far Eastern Games in 1921. However, just as China became the team to beat in Asia, sports as a whole was forced to take a major yield to the civil war conflicts between the nationalists and the communist parties. Yet still, in 1935, basketball was declared a national pastime. It remained popular through the Mao era when it was played under the slogan, Friendship First, Competition Second, and players apologized after committing fouls. Under Mao's rule, government scouts roamed the country for young talent. They looked for tall kids that had tall parents. Children that were selected are placed in after-school programs. If they showed promise, they can be placed in full-time sports academies. In June 1956, the Chinese Basketball Association, also known as the CBA, was established. It's a non-governmental organization in charge of basketball at a national level. However, during Mao's rule, he also decided to change China's economic system and aimed at raising industrial and agriculture production. With the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution lasting nearly two decades and resulting disastrously, they may have been key factors on the CBA's withdrawal from the International Basketball Federation, also known as FIBA, because China was in such disorder. In 1974, however, the CBA was reinstated back into FIBA, right before the end of the Cultural Revolution. As China's economy has risen since the late 1990s, so has its basketball program. In the two decades after being reinstated into FIBA, China regularly finished in the bottom half of the competing field, often finishing third to last or lower. However, in the past two decades, as China's economy improved, so did the national basketball team. They finished in the top half of the competition in three of the past four Olympic Games. It's also no coincidence that in those four teams, five players stepped abroad and played in the NBA. They include the early Munke Batir and Wang Zizi, as well as the new phenoms Yi Jianlian, Song Yu, and of course Yao Ming. These players serve as proof of not only China's development in its players, but also China's willingness to expand its economy with foreign markets. Many will even consider these players as ambassadors for China. Yao Ming has undoubtedly assisted in the relationship for China and the United States. Serving as the face of a major American sports franchise is not an easy task, let alone being the face of a nation. But with Yao's high productivity in the NBA, combined with his gentle and charismatic approach to things off the court, he has earned the respect not only for himself, but also for his country. In addition, being a superstar in the NBA also generated a lot more interest from the Chinese population, thus expanding the NBA's market. Besides having a new generation that is constantly craving a Western lifestyle, basketball is also providing China's youth with a system to succeed much similar to the one in the United States. Under the current regulating body, the Chinese Basketball Management Center, it starts at the Chinese High School Basketball League, then the Chinese University Basketball Association, and finally at the CBA level. And as for the special players that are talented enough, they can take the great leap forward from dreams to reality, to the mecca of basketball, to the NBA.